afternoon, big happy Sunday. Um, we just keep... Logan, quiet. Put the put your volume down on your thing. Put the volume down so I don't get copyrighted, okay? Or else you can go in the room. Anywho, so we just came from grocery shopping and then I came from Home Depot as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick haul of what we purchased. Um, I stopped buying stuff in bulk only because, oh my gosh, the lighting is like horrible. I'm trying to find good lighting for you guys. I think it's because the sun. Okay, perfect. I stopped buying stuff in bulk only because I realized like the more things I buy, like I waste it. So now I do like a weekly grocery shopping so I don't waste no food and I'm able to cook everything and eat everything. So I'm gonna quick show you guys a quick haul of everything that we purchased. And then at Home Depot, I got some mounting tape. I've seen it on TikTok. I got some mounting tape because I wanna finally hang up my pictures, but I just don't wanna put any um, holes in the wall with the nails. As you guys seen, um, I don't know how many vlogs ago, but I did purchase the nails at Home Depot and then I seen this on TikTok and I was like, oh my gosh, let me purchase this. And then I also want to hang up the grass wall. So I'm going to use one for my um, picture frames and then I'm going to use the other one for the grass wall. So let me go ahead and quickly show you guys what we bought. And I got a juicer, you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And I need to start back juicing. So this is the juicer that I purchased. I purchased it on Amazon. I purchased, I purchased it at like one o'clock in the morning, right? And then like eight o'clock in the morning, it was at my door. So yeah, let me go ahead and quickly show you guys the grocery haul because I have to wash the fruits. And then we're gonna finally set up my patio furniture. I still have not gotten to set it up yet. So we're gonna do that today, bibs. And then I wanna make some Haitian patties. So if I'm not that tired, I'll go downstairs and get the grass wall and put it up. But so far that's what's on the agenda but i have to set up the patio furniture so let me show you guys what we bought okay guys so i got some tostitos salsa i love me some chips and dip um the pie crust so i can make my haitian patties i got logan some gogurt avocado i've never tried dragon fruit so i definitely want to try some dragon fruit i got some tea this tea right here if you have problems going to the bathroom or just want like a natural detox everyday drink this i promise you bibs mm. Mm -mm. thank me later got some mangoes some sweet plantains ginger lemon these are for me to juice the ginger and the lemon got some celeries my celery is to juice got some cherries grapes green apples this is for me to juice i got logan some juice and then my coconut water if you drink coconut water without pulp you're disgusting and you don't know how to drink coconut water. You have to drink coconut water with pulp, okay? It defeats the purpose of coconut water. So then I got look at some chips and then seaweed. We love seaweed, like seaweed right here, this right here with some Lay's potato chips. Oh my gosh, forget about it, forget about it. And then I got some bananas. I got some chips. The only reason why I got these tortilla chips because it's slightly seasoned and not only that, it was on sale, like they have like little coupons and i got a dollar off of that so that's the only reason why i got it because usually i'll make my own tortilla chips and then i picked up some more golden grams some nuggets for logan some turkey for my patties some turkey sausage and then some salmon burgers now i don't eat red meat like it's been a minute since i've eaten meat but i'm kind of slowly kind of getting back to it because i kind of miss a lot of good food and the only meat that I do eat though is like turkey. I don't like like steak, red meat. I don't like red meat, but like turkey, salmon, fish, my go-tos, but it's not like I'm addicted to it. So, but I really wanted to make some Haitian patties. So that's why I picked this up. And then this, I want to make, during the week, I'll show you guys what I make with that. But this is everything that we purchased. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse my fruits and vegetables and put everything away. Okay, guys, so here I'm just going ahead and putting everything away. Those coconut waters that you guys see, they were like the most disgusting coconut waters I've ever had in my life. And I feel like it's because of the brand. Because Goya coconut water always comes through that. I don't know what it was. It wasn't giving the coconut watery taste. 
it just wasn't babes comment down below if you guys love organization and like how do you guys like organize your groceries like do you clean your refrigerator out before you put your groceries in or do you just put it straight in do you like the whole extra organization or you just be putting the groceries in just like that mentally everything just has to be organized for me or else it's just not going to do all of my little organizational stuff I got from Amazon and there's some stuff I got from Marshalls apparently babes I've been sleep on Marshalls because before I moved I made sure I got like all my kitchen stuff um, and I went to Marshalls and I seen like so much cute stuff I was like bro I've been sleep on Marshalls like literally I had to wake up but all of my organization stuff I got them from either Marshalls or Amazon if you guys are wondering in bad times, I know I'll be okay Cause I find my way have picky eaters or if you're a picky eater because i'm a picky eater i'm just trying not i've gotten better in my adult stage now um in my adulthood i'm not as picky as i used to be when i was like logan's age like logan is still a picky eater like it's not that much stuff logan eats like he's a really picky eater it's really bad and it's my fault because of course like when he was younger i only gave him the things that i ate so that's why he's a picky eater my next child is not going to be no picky eater that baby's going to eat anything and everything like i will not have another picky eater child because i love when kids love to eat and be like mommy i want this or mommy i want that logan it's always fries and chicken it's like so boring literally every day even when we go out to restaurants it's fries and chicken i remember one time we went to this place um called bar and g and I was like, what do you want? He's like, fries and chicken. I'm like, they don't have fries and chicken. He literally had a fit, okay? So my next child is not going to be no picky eater. So I don't know. Hopefully he grows out of it, like, when he gets a little older because the baby's so boring with his little fries and chicken child. And I tried to, you know, give him new things and introduce him to new things, but he will not budge. He will not budge. But let me know if you guys have a picky eater and if they there's like any tips and tricks on how to get a child from being a picky eater to actually being an eater because i'm over it at this point i'm sick of it i'm real tired real bad So 
this week guys i went to the farmer's market because i've always i love farmer's markets because they have like the freshest fruits and vegetables but for some reason the farmer's market that i went to the only thing i liked was this one fruit that my friend put me on i can't even remember the name of it but it's so good and the kidnap but the cherries and the grapes and the peaches everything was just like i don't know if it's because i kept it in the bag for such a long time when i came because after the farmer's market i was really beat the sun beat me the hell up so i just left it on my counter and when i got up for my nap to clean up the fruits like it's like they were rotten and stuff and i was like what the heck like oh my gosh no so i don't know if i'm gonna be going back to the farmer's market but so far i have been loving the fruits at heb and kroger but yeah like the farmer's market really disappointed me and i'm like kind of traumatized and i don't want to go back to the farmer's market but i love farmer's markets and i'm not gonna lie they're really expensive though like a pound of cherries you guys was six dollars a pound of cherries was six dollars and then the grapes were like eight dollars a pound they were really really expensive so i don't know if i'm gonna be going back to the farmer's market i think i'm just gonna stick to my heb and my kroger because they do have fresh fruits and i really really love their fruits so can't really complain guys this tea right here if you're looking for like a mild detox or you just want to clean your body after you like you know ate something bad or you feel like you're backed up baby don't say i ain't never put you on okay because i ain't gonna keep no secrets from you this tea right here just go get it run don't walk run
guys so this is how the chair is looking it's nine o'clock and i am so doggone tired child this is how it looks without the pillow this is what it looks with the pillow i think i might get another pillow just like as an accent one but this is the chair i'm tired i'm gonna go ahead and set up the second one tomorrow Thank you.